Two, it's Random Tuesday Thoughts. Here we are on a Tuesday, driving home. Actually, it's Monday. I'm recording this on Monday. I try to record things ahead of time because that way I have some time to edit them the following day, get them up. Uh, got through a good bit of videos last week. It was good. Good. Getting uh, getting in the rhythm. Felt good. Had good things to talk about. Uh, still have to mail that hot diggity out to Kyle over at Off-Road Yo-Yo, but that's okay because uh, it's going to go out to him very, very soon. And uh, as you guys saw, the video went up for it yesterday, or it's about to go up today as I'm recording this. And yeah, so let's talk about the random things that I wanted to talk about today. Uh, so yeah, first and foremost, let's talk about Dylan's yo-yo. Got that thing up, uh, got it reviewed, and uh, just saw that they came in at Return Top Shop. Jeremy's got them, so I imagine those will be up on the site at returntopshop.com soon. Uh, definitely something you're going to want to check out uh, and get uh, from Return Top Shop as he is the first that I've seen to get them. Uh, and you're going to want a hot diggity. I don't know what they're going to cost yet. It's like 30 bucks though. Uh, definitely a good price for it. It's a good yeah, yeah. You're going to like it. I like it. Uh, and support our good buddy Dylan who supports us with boatloads of content all the time. Uh, great dude. Great uh, yo-yo. And, uh, you know, good stuff. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, next thing to talk about, uh, including my friend Dylan as well on this, is uh, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Again, this year, Zipline Strings is going to do uh, a pink string that all of the proceeds from that string will be donated to uh, breast cancer uh, awareness and, and just breast cancer research and what have you. So uh, all of that will be donated as well as 100% of the proceeds from all of the signature string, which includes my signature string, uh, Dylan's signature string, Kieran's signature string, Paul Harness's signature string, Tokyo Yo's signature string. I hope I'm not forgetting anybody. Uh, but all of the signature string, all of the proceeds from that will be donated uh, to breast cancer research, which is, of course, a, a wonderful, wonderful cause. Uh, I know all of us have had in some way, at least all of us on the Zipline team, have had in some way some cancers affected us. My mother's a breast cancer survivor. I've talked about this before. Uh, my aunt is a breast cancer survivor. My grandmother was a breast cancer survivor before she passed. She did, she didn't pass. She didn't have. It had nothing to do with breast cancer. She was really old. Um, so this is a cause that is very near and dear to my heart, and uh, I just want to thank Jeremy and uh, everybody at Zipline for uh, doing this again this year. Uh, I am happy and proud to be a part of it uh, again. Uh, going to do as much as we can, but uh, absolutely go buy some Zipline strings. Uh, there's a link down in the description you're going to want to buy uh, either any anybody's signature string, whatever's in stock, anybody's signature string, uh, or the, I think it's uh, the Mingo pink one, or the, one of the pink ones as well. So um, all the links are in the description, all the information is in the description. Go and buy some uh, Zipline strings. Uh, it's for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month is very important to us, so uh, help raise some money for a wonderful cause. Go buy some zipline strings. Uh, I'm in it as well. If you want to buy my strings, go for it, uh, and that'll donate too. And also, if you buy my strings, any of the what would have been commission that I would have made on the strings, I am going to match it. So basically, if I was to make 20 bucks in commission for the month, I will match that on top of that, whatever it is. If Jeremy makes, you know, what would be $100 of commission on string, I've never made anywhere near that. That's like a year's worth. Uh, but if that's if that happens, if we make $100 worth of commissions on strings, I will match it $100. So uh, there's a little incentive to buy some throws and bruise ones. Uh, that would be the uh, Tainted Love and uh, Hulkenstein. So uh, buy those, and even I will add some match on top of that. So... Uh, Go buy that stuff at ziplinestrings.com. Links are down in the description, though. Uh, additionally, another cool thing to talk about, Beast of the East is coming up. I'm going. 
Beast of the East is going to be in like, it's like South Jersey, Philly area. Uh, I'm going to go up there, hang out with uh, my buddy Tyler Severance, and uh, Recess is helping to sponsor, as is the monthly throw and TPT board games. Uh, so, you know, all, them, all those guys over there on that side of the state. Uh, I really like those guys a lot. They came out and supported us big time for East Coast Masters. I wasn't able to come out for Jersey States because my sister got married that day. But I was like, you know what? I'll just come to Beast of the East because that's in October. And I don't have much to do in October. So I'm going to make the trip out to Philly. And uh, going to be hanging out with Tyler. Very excited about it. It's going on sort of also in the middle of Geek Fest. So Geek Fest also kind of looks like a lot of fun. Look into that. I might go to that. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet if I'm, I'm probably going to come back Sunday the more I think about it. So I might leave early on Saturday, maybe go to Geek Fest on Saturday and then stay for the contest and drive back Sunday night so I can go to work on Monday. That's that's kind of the plan at the moment. Uh, I might just stay Sunday and uh, sleep there. Tyler said I could crash. He said it doesn't matter when or where. And I'm like, oh, okay. And it's actually pretty cheap to stay out there too, so I'm not real... Uh, not real concerned about it. Just gonna rent a car, drive out there, do some vlogging, do some hanging out at the Beast of the East, and uh, see who's all out there. Go see, you know, all the guys that are on the uh, east east side of the state uh, and in Jersey and stuff. There's a pretty big yo-yo community out there. Uh, you know, I guess we're part over here of like Pittsburgh, Cleveland area stuff, but uh, the Philly, South Jersey area guys. There's a lot of guys out there as well. Uh, and that's where Recess is based, the Tiki Tiki board game. So they've got a really good club and a really good scene out there as well. So it'll be nice to actually get out there and uh, see those guys because a lot of them I've talked to before, a lot of them I've met before because they've come over to some like Ohio or Pittsburgh stuff. But uh, to go see them sort of where they are uh, and near near where they live is, uh, is cool and something I'm excited to do. So Beast of the East, I will be there. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to be a Beast of the East because if you are, Come say hi. I'll just be there hanging out, uh, playing yo-yo, maybe getting new yo-yos. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, and lastly, the last thing I wanted to talk about today is uh, because big yo-yo release season is upon us, I'm going to remind everybody, don't get salty if yo-yos sell out quickly. It's that time of year. That's how fall works. Yo-yos get released. They sell out quickly, usually overnight. Uh, I know there's some new G squared stuff coming. That stuff tends to sell out rather instantly. Uh, you know, don't get salty. You're going to have an opportunity to. Yo-Yo's life cycles last a pretty long time. There's not any like real rush. You'll get one eventually, either brand new or you'll be able to get one used. Uh, I've never had an experience where I can't, especially if I'm willing to pay for it get a yo-yo uh, at least you know within a couple of weeks after the release so uh, this is just a friendly reminder try not to be salty about yo-yos just get what you can get when you can get it best of luck at the drops uh, although you do really want to DK I know a hundred of them dropped today I think they're almost sold out uh, but you really want one. That was like the last one that anybody was sort of salty on was the DK. Although they made a ton of those. So anybody that really is going to want a DK, you're going to be able to get a DK. It's just going to happen. You'll be able to do it. But uh, that's my uh, public service announcement for today, for this Random Tuesday Thoughts. Don't get salty if you don't get a yo-yo release. You'll be able to get one. It's not a pipe dream. If you're, if you're willing to pay for it, search for BST. Somebody will fork over whatever yo yo you want if you're willing to fork over the cash. Just gonna happen. Promise you of that. Uh, but uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be it for me today, guys. This was random Tuesday thoughts. I stayed organized. I thought this went swimmingly. But uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Please make sure you like it and subscribe. I do videos all the time, like four or five days a week. Now it used to be every day, but now I've got a lot of backlog. So you guys go watch that too. And yeah, click on other videos. There's other videos down on the sidebar here. Lots of stuff to watch. Go watch other videos, too. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Cheers to you. I see you next time.